Today, we talk about a brief history of Stone Island. All right. This should be good. All right, so right off the bat, uh, I have very limited experience with Stone Island. This is fairly new to me. So first impressions are aeroplane. Nah, sorry. Uh, with that said, what do we got here? So we have the uh, return label, always appreciated. Uh, the receipt to remind me how expensive this was. And this is the lightweight jacket Stone Island. Salmon pink, size XL. Oh, interesting. This order, blah, 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 placed on May 22nd, 2018, has been carefully hand packed for you. Enjoy, exclamation point. Thank you, Stone Island. 20 days to return, appreciate it. I have a feeling I won't be needing that. All right, so another first impression, nice, lovely, sturdy box. Very, very unique. Very, uh, I mean, some people are gonna clown me for saying that, but I mean, yeah, it is just a box. We get it. But, I mean, I don't know. It's just like, this is not your standard uh, delivery of clothes from uh, you know your standard department store online or what have you. So there you go with their website, Stone Island, ba -da -ba. and then uh, just got a nice premium feel to the box, kind of like Mr. Porter boxes, which I briefly mentioned before. Uh, but yeah, let's see how we open this. Ah, magnetic, I love that. Ready? Ooh, another nice little extra little packaging piece there. Let's move that out. Inside the box feels nice too, just trust me. Take my word for it. Nice little paper mache action. Has a nice crinkle to it. And then I don't know what the point of these is. They're not really, well that one is actual tape that's covering. This one is not covering anything, but I kind of dug that it was there. I'm not gonna lie to you. No G. Uh, let's just open it up. Whoa, bruh. Wow, uh, here you go. So this is the jacket. The Salmon Pink, I guess, is their official name for it. Um, beautiful, beautiful shade. I mean, I don't even know if you guys will be able to appreciate this until I get into the editing room, but it's a beautiful peach color, actually, more than salmon, I would say. Now, if you wanna, this is not Ronnie Fyke salmon, for example. This is like straight up peach, light peach, like very light peach, like not Georgia peach. This is like some other kind of peach, um, but it's peachy. Um, and then here's your Stone Island emblem, the compass, the famous compass. So we'll be diving a little bit into the history of that. Uh, and I guess, so obviously you have uh, Stone Island written here. Uh, you have, I would assume this is the material of the uh, jacket here, David Tella Light. Oh, actually I got a little uh, description here, so why not read it for you? So uh, a lightweight star-shaped cross-section Japanese polyester polyamide Tella is assembled and then dyed under pressure at 130 degrees Celsius, which uh, I don't know what it equates to in Fahrenheit, but uh, a lot. With the addition of an anti-drop agent. During the dye process, the heat transforms the structure and hand of the material. This results in pieces that combine an industrial look with a unique tactile experience. Stone Island engineering and garment dye expertise. I am already impressed given what I've briefly learned about Stone Island and I can't wait to share it with you. It's got an anti-drop finish and it tells you that it was dyed at 130 Celsius. So that's cool. Please try this item on without removing the identification tag or disposal seal. Items without the tag or seal will not be accepted if they are returned. Thanks. YKK zippers. Nice. Don't at me, bro. Uh, yeah, this is beautiful, man. Um, and again, I don't know how well you guys can appreciate this, but look how thin this thing is. It's like razor thin. I mean, I really don't think you guys can appreciate through the, uh, through the camera, obviously, but just uh, trust me on this. This is super duper lightweight appearing. Oh, might as well show you this part. Pause if you want to read. A lot of Stone Island's claim to fame is their innovations and their um, engineering advancements in garments and fabrics and technical advancements in utilitarian military style clothing. So, um, you know, that's why their initial claim to fame came from this fabric. And unfortunately, this is not one of those pieces, but I felt like that was just a little bit too aggressive, especially for this season. I felt like a nice spring coat would do just fine. So let me show you what it looks like. Wow. 
I barely put this on and I felt like it was a cape. I'm not even kidding you. And this is extremely light. I don't even want to play with you guys. And I'm not gonna lie, it's not like a tight fit, which is great, especially if I wanted to wear something underneath that was a little bit thicker or had some layers to it. So this is like a perfect over layering piece. Absolutely. Um, love that they have, uh, actually no. No inner pockets, which is a shame, but to be honest with you, for this, kind of lightness, I guess that's a good sacrifice. Uh, they do have these pockets on the front, which let me try to access the actually fairly decent sized pockets. And it comes with some extra buttons, so uh, check yourself. I um, love how this blue works with that, so uh, definitely loving this from a more casual look, but I could totally see this with like a shirt and tie underneath. If you wanna have a nice uh, spring brunch or uh, lovely evening out in the uh, summer weather or spring weather before it gets too hot and humid. Uh, this would be perfect for that. But even for those times, I mean, this is so light that uh, it gets, um, it definitely gets a pass. Now I'll obviously have to remove these, but you can see how it'll look with just the patch. Or it's gonna be a look. I mean, I'll just have to show you without it. Oh man, that's dope. So like they're all attached underneath with, the, with these sets of buttons and then that way you get a detachable tag. Uh, I bet you these, there's like collectors out there for these, especially because from what I'd heard, there's actually different variants of this emblem, some with uh, different colors for the lining of the compass, and that actually uh, helps delineate some of the more rare pieces, some of the older pieces versus newer pieces. I'm not very well acquainted for the details, so I can't provide this for you at this time. Uh, but if any of you know the uh, cheat sheet to be able to tell all the different colors or uh, emblems apart, share them in the comments. I'm sure other people would love to know. Uh, but yeah, now you can see. But yeah, now you can see what it looks like uh, without all the garbage on it. Garbage. Boom. Nice tag. Just meet up with people in the street, say you know, be like, yes, stony. Oh wow. Also, a little secret pocket right here. A little stashy stash. So that's a great feature. Uh, just on the one side. Sorry, folks. But yeah, the quality of these buttons, just the quality of the construction, the lightness, because it doesn't feel cheap but it's still amazingly light material. You see, you know, some people are gonna nitpick this kind of stitching, uh, fragging or whatever, but uh, honestly, I don't mind that. I mean, the rest of it looks great. These sleeves fit just fine, like a little loose, but not too loose, which is good. Uh, and then let me see what it looks like zipped up. Yeah, man, this is... Uh, dude. And I'm, I'm really glad with this color. Like I said, I think it just will mesh well with a lot of ish. I, I'm not gonna lie to you, originally I wanted to get a piece that had their uh, heat reactive technology or whatever you call it, I forget, uh, where literally depending on the temperature or even if you just put your hand on it in the cold, it'll literally change the look and the color of the piece that you're wearing. So I think that's just like next level type fashion. Love that they're pushing boundaries. Always love to see creativity at work and succeeding and bringing in wow factor. These are, for those wondering, made in Romania. Um, but yeah, lovely Italian brand, very happy with them. You guys crushed it. So I really wanna go through a brief history of Stone Island and what I've learned in such a short time, but I know some of you are really just here to look at the piece. So uh, which am I gonna do first? Nah, whatever. All right, I know some of you are just here to look at this, so we'll go through it, and then if you want to stick around, we can go through the history. I... Cool. All right, so, the brand was founded in 1982 by Massimo Osti. More on him later. A commonly used nickname for Stone Island, especially in the UK, is Stony. It was first adopted by Paninaro Youth in Italy in the 80s. Something to do with panini biscuits or crackers or something. And it's kind of funny how full circle it's becoming with the brand growing in popularity in the States because the original style of those Paninaro Youth in Italy was from 50s American style. And it was around this time in the 80s where British football fans, AKA soccer, you know, they would follow European cup games and they started to find different designer labels that they wanted to sport back home in the UK. And Stone Island found itself at the right place at the right time. So a lot of OGs will tell you that the birth of Stone Island as a staple is rooted in soccer hooligans from the UK and they wanted to avoid cops or rival clubs so instead of wearing their team colors they started wearing flashy designer stuff. Not sure how one leads to the other I mean I feel like as a hooligan you're just so passionate as a fan kind of like Philly fans am I right? That uh, you welcome the hooliganness and the and the chaos but how that translated into converting from donning jerseys to these, uh, I don't know, I wasn't there, so I'm just gonna have to take people's word for it. This eventually would lead into a dick measuring race for who could have the most expensive, rarest, most modern threads, and Stone Island fit 
the bill. Many would say Stone Island was perfectly suited for this new casual culture. It was the supreme of its time, basically. Except instead of a box logo, you have this famous patch that allows people to know you mess with Stone Island and you got good taste. Since the pieces stand out and are obviously high quality, but to the untrained eye are not a loud, obnoxious statement. And obviously this statement, personally, but I feel like most people would agree, is a lot more subtle than the uh, Supreme Box logo because it's literally the name of the brand in writing with red and white lettering. Unmistakable, it's led to numerous knockoffs uh, because it's so in your face and that's just what it is and it's Supreme. Whereas this, A, is not plastered over people's chest, it's on the sleeves and uh, it's a lot more subtle. So, mission accomplished. So it's kind of like Supreme for people who grew up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? No shade, of course, I still rock Supreme. But if I'm gonna be surrounded by a lot more adults, uh, I'm probably gonna opt for the Stone Island, if I have to go with just one. This eventually evolved to finding Stony in inner cities and tied to the grime scene with The Patch, now a badge of raw masculine muscle. Now, there's a lot of thought that grime OG Skepta's close ties to Drake led to Drake being turned on to Stone Island and leading a young generation of young hypies to know about the brand in the first place, since you see it popping up all over the place now. And that may be true, but at the end of the day, you can't grow as a brand or garner respect without substance. And boy, does Stone Island have substance. They're renowned for pushing the boundaries of technology and innovation in their military designed garments for decades. And I'm very drawn to brands like that. Those that push us forward and are constantly looking to evolve. I mean, heat reflective and heat changing fabrics? Are you joking? <sighs> Lord have mercy, I thought hurricane season was over. I really tried to find a piece of those, but they are literally impossible to find. Always sold out or lack of something in my size or whatever. Such a shame because those pieces are so badass. If they're done right. I've, I have found a couple pieces available, but they're usually weird looking sweaters or just something that really wouldn't jive with my personal style, so I have to leave it alone. But maybe someday they'll have some available that I can actually cop because uh, I would love that. Massimo Osti set the blueprint for Stone Island and his legacy still informs where it is today. He's the man who brought reflective jackets, color changing heat reactive jackets, polyurethane lined weather protective jackets, reversible jackets, dual layer jackets with removable linings. These are all ideas that are now commonplace among many brands and there's a lot of confidence that every major fashion house in the world has some of Osti's work in their archives somewhere. The compass symbolized love for the sea and an aim for constant research, which is really what drew Osti and that's why the brand is what it is today. It drew influence from naval military uniforms. Osti was obsessed with military and workwear. The name for the brand was inspired by Joseph Conrad novels, and apparently the words stone and island came up over and over and over again. And this is what led Osti to use it as his brand name given his extensive experimentation with sea elements on his fabrics. Now some other details I wanted to mention about the brand. I also came to find out that they actually have a sub-brand called Shadow Project through Stone Island. and. Lo and behold, I come to find out it's a team effort between Stone Island and acronyms Arrelson Hugh. And I've talked extensively about a lot of the acronym collaborations, but I was just blown away that, of course, it's like a match made in heaven. You get Stone Island, which has its roots based in technological advancement of fabrics and garments with a lot of military influence. And then here comes Arrelson Hugh with a lot of the same goals, passions, and um, and design inspiration. So to put them together to create special collaborative projects is just Oh. Beautiful, beautiful. So, uh, I, I, and I looked at their current lineup, I really didn't see anything that really drew me in, so I will definitely be on the lookout for a piece that really speaks to me that I really want to purchase, because I would love to show you guys that. But uh, as of now, I am okay with this, until we get some dope heat reactive element, especially if uh, Aerosmith were to work on one that really, really impressed me. Um, oof, I would pay big money for that. Big, pretty, pretty, pretty big money. That's the long and short of the history. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions about it. Let's keep moving. Yo, Kyle. Bruh, is you seeing what I'm seeing? Bop. Yo. I look good. Yo, no joke. Uh, I feel like a badass wearing this. Uh, it's got like this awesome dad vibe. I feel like the cool dad going to pick up his kids from the soccer match. Not saying. No joke though. I got a ton of compliments on this jacket today. And this is the first day I wore it. And it's amazing. It To me, it just speaks to the quality of the jacket. But also secondly... 
It also speaks to my taste and color selection. The minute I saw this like peach light naked tone and how flexible it could be in the summertime or springtime, I should say, I was like, it's over. But yeah, it's, uh, it's like a very light bomber jacket. Like I have a bomber jacket uh, that's leather and very heavy, great for winter actually. It's surprisingly warm from Alpha Industries. Uh, video coming soon, <laughs> not soon, at some point. Uh, but, but this is more of a light jacket. I mean, the material is very light, but it has a very bombery look, especially with the sleeves and just the general look of it. And it's very loose fitting. Uh, again, it feels like it's very in tune with today's dad vibe environment. But beyond that, because it's such a classic piece and designed from such classic military garb, I mean, I could wear this forever. I mean, my dad could rock this ish, like easy. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Good looking! <laughs> nice. You really didn't have to do this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> very, very nice. Looks good. Yeah. Fits very well. Good choice. <laughs> Stone Island. Very nice. How about this? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, yeah, very happy I picked this up. I have nothing bad to say. Uh, the other thing I feel like when I'm wearing this, other than a badass, is I feel like Drake, especially wearing the Clarks today. Hey, yo. Yeah, no, I got uh, I got the Stoney. I got the Clarks. Uh, I think I crushed this fit for this graduation dinner I'm going to. Um, but yeah, not really too much else to say. Like I said, very happy with it. Awesome. Awesome. Guys, not kidding. Feel like a fighter pilot in this, especially in this car. Yeah, this is, this is phenomenal. So I'm very happy with this purchase. Yeah, Stone Island, I get it now. We'll see you on the next one, we out.